Hello, welcome to Ekidel, where we train future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umaka, and I am your instructor. Today, we will be learning how to design a building, a concrete building, in Boulder Structure Software. Now, looking at this right now, we are on the general arrangement stage, which is the part two of this video. So if in case you missed the part one, I will say you should check on the link below and then check out the part one on how to position this column on your building drawing plan. So right now we are done placing our, our column and also we have also um, um, also known we are, we, are, we are going to put our slab in product structure as you can see it here. So we have done the paneling as you can see it here, panel one, two, three, four and up to six. And also we have also checked that the column distance is less than six meters so that you can be able to get a good result uh, for your for your beam reinforcement and, and for your column reinforcement. Okay, so right now we, we, we now want to now export or carry this drawing right now to put our structure to now begin the full design of this concrete building. But before then, what I always advise you to do is that once you're done positioning your column on the ground floor, I will say you have to make a superimpose of your column on the first floor to see if the plans are the same and to see which column will like come out on an empty room or empty space so that you can be able to know which column will like terminate on the on the ground floor and which column will now continue up to the first floor and to the roof. So right now, I will say that you should just highlight and select all your columns. So right now, I will just highlight right now, right click and then go to since i want to select look at I, I want to select this column right now this column i want to um I'll, I'll just pick all the columns right now you can use a quick select or similar but since this building is small i'll just select all my columns right now so i'll select all my columns right now select, I'll select all, all, all my columns and then superimpose the column onto the first floor because this is the ground floor so i'll now copy right now using cp i'll use cp or co i'll say copy now I'll, i always advise you copy from the base point or from the place which is more more um the same with the first floor and the staircase does not change so always choose your copy point or your copy base point from the staircase so i'll pick here right now on this staircase edge and i'll go again and click at the same point on the other staircase edge also for the first floor so right now you can see that this, this column is okay, but on this column right now, it is trying to come out on this wardrobe on the first floor. You can see first floor here. So right now, since this column is coming out right now, it shows that there is a cantilever. You can see that, that, this, that the first floor plan shifted a bit. So let us check the cantilever length of what is the cantilever length. So from this place right now to this very end, you can see that the cantilever length of 300 on this side, there is cantilever length of 300 on this side right now. And also you can see that there is a column, this column also showed on this place right now. So let us check again, let's, let's check that difference between that place. Let's check the difference between this column right now, which is the edge of this building, of this ground floor. So check right now to this place again and check the, the distance okay this side is 450 millimeter you can see there so right now it is obvious that we have a cantilever 300 on this left hand side and also 450 at, the, at this at this upper side here but this place remains the same because the column from the ground floor flush together with the with, with the wall on the first floor you can see there so right now and also you can check that there is no column coming out from the window you can see that either if, if there was any column coming out on the window area here if it would be possible for you to shift it or hide it you can, I'll, I'll say you should do that but like this one right now, you can see that there is a column on the window here. But since there is no space for us to shift, I will see that I would advise the person that drew this plan to shift his window a bit onto this side. So this is okay. So right now again, but this is not okay because it is coming out directly at the at the lobby. As you can see that this is a lobby going into this into this toilet. So I will see that we will not have to um, terminate this column at the ground floor here and at the first floor we will not shift this column and input the column here using the cantilever beam to carry the column on this other side this this all we, we will do all these directly on the portal structure and also but since right now we will not have now identify all the column by changing them and by changing the colors of the column that came out on the open space so we have to change the color this is why i changed the color for us to know that this col that these columns are meant to terminate at the first floor that on the that, oh, sorry on the ground floor slab and on the the first floor we will have to shift these, these columns down to this very end and also this to this and this to this and, and so on so right now all the columns that, that are showing green on this first floor they are okay because they are they are all hidden inside the walls but this one showing magenta or pink color we are going to shift them into this place because on because because one it is coming out like this one right now it is coming out directly on the door which, which is not okay so right now we will shift all these ones to, to this very end but not on this place on Buddha structure but we have changed the color to to know that these columns are to be shifted okay so right now 
since we have done that right now, we will now have to also identify this cantilever on this place right now. So since we have known that the cantilever from this place to this place is 450 and it runs from the beginning of this building to the end of the building here. So right now we will now have to go and offset the 450 and it is from the face of the column as you can see it here. So we will now have to go and offset that 450 right now. So we'll do O which is for offset and enter. Then we type the the, the, the the offset length of 450 and say enter. So we will now select here right now and offset it 450 right now. I will now change this color right now. So I'll change the, the line thickness to a bit um 0 0.3 if that's okay. Right? I'll change this one right now again the line type to at least dash to show that that's a cantilever. You can see that right now. Then also we also have a cantilever at this very end, also at this very end, which is 300. So I'll also go here again and offset 300 right now again. Oh, enter 300, enter, and then offset this 300 right now and and then make match properties right now ma match it right now with the with the cantilever properties which 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 we are using right now so i'll match this one right now to this right now you can see that right now and then you can see that the cantilever flush all the way around so i have to flush this right now by using f enter i'll flush this right now to this right now to this okay and also you can see that the cantilever also ended at this very point so i'll end it here right now as you can see it's right here it, it, it hits its head at this very place right now okay so right now once we have done identifying this right now it is now time to now and export the this this ground floor plan to put that structure so i'll just match up this again right now ma and match this right now to this right now okay there is a notice here that this this didn't get to this place so i'll say that we should just um because you can see that this can give right now is to this place right now reached this very end so we will also do the same thing right now by clicking here right now and typing 450 because that, that, because that's, that is the cantilever length, 450, and then click here right now, and then click at this place right now, and then into this here. Okay, then match up at this right now, and match this right now to this right now. Okay, so before you must export your 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 ground floor GA to potash dot because we always do your, your, your GA or your column position on the ground floor. So before you must export your ground floor GA to potash structure, you must have you must have to do a superimpose to know to, to copy all the columns from the ground floor and paste it on the first floor and then to, to now know the columns which are meant to terminate or which are meant to which are meant to terminate on the on the ground floor slab or the one that we now sorry at the first floor slab and the one that we now extend up to the roof so right now we have done the superimpose right now and i've seen that these columns that is coloring pink here is terminating at is is going to terminate at the first floor because they are like coming out they are causing they are causing what they call obstruction on this first floor so we are going to shift it up to this place on the first floor but this one that is showing green right now are going down from the foundation down to the roof because they are they they have no obstruction and they are hidden inside the inside the walls you can see there so right now once you have done all this right now, you will now have to now go and um, select this, only this plan right now, which is the ground floor plan, which you are going to export to put that structure. So select this right now and then type W. W simply means that you want to save this, this one separately because that, that because this is the only thing that can export to put that structure. You don't export the whole plan. No, only that one that you have done, your general element drawing to, to put that structure. So right now, we'll type W as you can see it here and then we'll type what enter. So enter right now to give us a dialog box, which we now tell us to, we are want to save it. So I will say that you can leave this place in certain unit as also unit less but i'll say if you use unit that that you use if you use meter meter or feet or millimeter to like draw your drawing i'll say you should um you use that particular uh, unit but if you don't know the one you use just you leave it as what they call needless but in this case i use millimeter i also attach this very plan to this to, to this video description so that you can use this plan to like practice okay so right now once you have choose right now i will now say you should click on this place called this dot you can see this three dot here click on this place right now tell us to appear to show you, you want to save it on your desktop i always say you should save that particular plan on the on the desktop you can see here save it on desktop and then or uh, yeah save it on the desktop and then choose where you want to save it so i will say you should save it at, at at desktop and then the main thing to do right now is to input your file name and your um and your file type the file type must be dsf okay so right now we will now go here and change the file name to the file name that that we want to use so we want since it's the one story building we will just type here one story one story building one story sorry story building okay now the whole idea is on this file type once you make mistake on choosing a wrong file type that means this your building will not show on product structure when you have exported it so right now you have to choose 
any of this DSF file. You can see that this um, software, AutoCAD, has two file formats, which is DWG and DSF file. And most of the design software uses DSF file to accept files from AutoCAD. So, and also, Potas Torture uses this DSF file to accept any file that must be exported to it as a DSF file. So, you have to choose any of these DSF file of your choice. So, in this case right now, I want to use DSF file 18, or I can still use DSF file 24, 20, 20, 20, 2004. I can also use DSF 27, 27, but let me just use 2018. But whichever one you want to use, you, you, you can use. Okay, let us use um, DSF 27. So just put here right now and choose here 27 right now. Okay, but I'm using AutoCAD 20, you can see it here, but I'm using DSF 27. So anyone you want to use at all, you can use. So right now, once you cho cho choose a DSF right now, you can see that the file name is not attached to .dsf format. So with this right now, you cannot click on what they call save right now. So, and then click on what they call OK. So once you do that right now, you can see that it will try to save it for you right now. So you wait for this to finish this um, W block preview. So right now, it, it, it is, it, it is done. So if you now go right now, minimize right now, and go and locate where we have that file right now. Okay, so this is the file I can see it here. One story building can see it here .dsf. So we'll just copy it right now and paste it on, on the desktop so that it can be easy to for us to find it there and then export to Potter structure. So I'll just copy it right now, minimize this right now, and paste it somewhere here so that I can be you can be able to be um seen fast to not export to Potter structure. Okay, so th this is the file right now that we have export that we have just changed. So this is one story building I can see it here. So right now I will now have to go and launch my Potter. So once you launch your Potter structure. This is the dialog box that you will see right now. You can see that where you see all your previous work that you have done before. But right now, we want to create a new um, plan, which is a new design using Potter Structure. So right now, I'll just click on this place called New Project. So you click on this icon right now to create a new project, which we want to design for, which is one story. I can see there one story building. So I'll just go here right now and type one. Use my this, my, this um, dot. One story. Sorry. One story, place again, building, then space again, design. Okay, so with this now, once you're done typing your project name, which is called a project code on this software, I'll just write now, I'll say you should click on this place called OK right now. So once you click on this OK right now, it will now show you um, the this template. This template, you now you don't have to not go and choose the type of code which you want to design for. Now, if you are in UK or in Africa, most of Africa, they we they use this BS code of practice or also your code. So, so I'll say you should use one of you that, that you want to use. And if you are also in in also US or let me say America, and I will see that you will not see your code here, but later I will show you how to use your own ASC code to now design for your structure because because right there inside the software you can see other codes which are not listed here. So I will say that that should not be your problem. So if if you don't have the code that you want to use here, I will say you should just pick any of this code. Let me say pick um pick um UK code, and later I will show you how to change from this UK code to the code that suits your own country. So right now I will choose um British code of practice, which is um UK BS eight one zero to design for this structure right now so i'll click on this place right now and then click on what they call import so right now once i click on the import right now it tries to import all the codes that was done on that on th that is it, it, it tries to import all, all the formulas and all and also all the guiding design principles that has to be done using BS code into that into that project so we'll just hold on right now for it to finish right now and then we will now and then it will not display again Okay, so right now it is trying to load up all that all that code. So right now this is now your interface. As you can see it here, one story building design. You can see it here right now. So you cannot see that this uh, product structure have now created for this design right now. So it is now time we now have to import that AutoCAD plan, this AutoCAD plan right now, this AutoCAD plan right now into product structure. So we will go right now and then click on product structure right now, and then we will now have to now gun. Click on this place called external reference drawing. But if you don't, but if you can't um, find this icon on your own, but I say it is always there. You, you can also click here called building setup right now, and you also see that icon right now. And then once you click on this place right now, sorry, once you click on this um, place right now file, and you will also see that called model file export, and you also see this icon here external reference drawing. So whichever one you can locate, well, I'll just click on this place right now and click on this place right now. Automatically, it will, it will ask me to go and load that DSF file which I which I saved. So right now, I'll just locate one that one the dollar bus shows right now. I'll can locate that file immediately and then pick up the file and then it will be exported here automatically. Okay, so let's just hold on right now. Okay, so right now, I can see it right now, reference, reference drawing settings. 
So you can actually download DSF now. This is why you have to save your drawing to a DSF format in AutoCAD because without that, it won't be able to display or show. So right now, I'll just click on this place right now. Click on this place right now, load DSF. And then once I load, when I click on this place right now, and then I will have to now go and then um, um, choose where it is. In this case, it, 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 is, it is on desktop. So I'll go here right now and locate desktop and then you will see your um, listed file there as DSF. So let me just go down right now and locate it right now. You can see it here, one story building design. Once one story building. So I'll just click on it right now and then click on what open. Automatically, it will try to open that drawing on this area right now. Now it will try to tell you the unit that you use. So I'll just click on OK because we, 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 use, um, we use millimeter. I'll click on OK right now and then it will try to show the drawing as you can see it here right now so this whole drawing now has been shown as you can see it has been it has been shown here right now but the columns and the axis and the grid lines which was set in in, in um, this place in, in, in this place in, in, in this place have not yet been shown so right now to show that right now you now have to go and import members so once you click on i would say you should click on this place use colors that you can be able to see the colors you used in autocad so right now we now, we now want to go and import all these column members right now all these columns and axis right now into Prota structure so i'll go here right now and import and click on this place import members Bus right now so right now i'll now go and import axis as grid line which which i set in autocad here as grid line as you can see there i set this place as um i set this grid line as you can see it here so i'll gonna import this 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 um, grid line and also import columns also and import auto, also these columns also into portal structure right now so i'll just minimize right now and then it, i'll import axis as my grid line layers and import column as my column layers and then once i set this to right now i'll now click on what they call okay so automatically right now it will now go and import it for you so i'll just do this place start this start is just to check if there is what they call overlapping or error in your imported files so i'll just click on now you can see that number of errors is zero I will now go and click on what okay and close now right now it now try to it now you can see that it has imported my all my columns and my grid lines right now so I can now click on this place right now called what close so with this right now I can see that if we now we now have our um we now have our columns and our and, and also our, our our grid lines as it is right here on AutoCAD as you can see it right now we have our columns and also our all our grid lines exported right now into Prota structure as you can see it here right now we also have panel one two three and four so right now we now have to now go and begin to insert our beams so so this is how to this is how to um import your drawing from AutoCAD into Prota structure and also if you also see if you also look at the 3D view aspect of it you will also see that all your columns and, and your grid lines has been imported as, as you can see it right here here, here right now okay we are, i will also make this place dua i'll make it dua right now to let me just make it dua right now to get this view in two places so let me just go back first of all go back to plan view right now and then try to show you how to make this view for you to see it too that, that that's you have to see the the, the plan and, and also the 3d view that's okay for uh, for a beginner to start okay so right now um let's just hold on for this to finish right now you can see right now that we now have our we now have our plan view right now and we also have our 3d view right here so whatever changes we do on this plan view right now you will see it occur here right now so you can see it here right now you can see that we have selected this column right now and this column here is also selected right now if we also go and choose this column again you can see that they will be choosing itself right now you can see that and if we go and choose all the columns on this line right now you can see that it will select that also and if we choose all the columns on this other side again right now you can see that all has been selected here right now so whatever changes you make here right now we will we, be done on this 3d view that's why product structure is is, is a very powerful software for the for, for the design of concrete building and also steel building okay so right now you can see what you have done right now so sorry in the next stage right now i'll show you <coughs> how to now begin to insert beams and also insert slab for your structure so this is the part two of what we have done today how to import your plan from from autocad into product structure and how to bring out your columns and your grid lines as you can see here right now so in the part three right now i'll show you how to insert how to create your beams and how to create your um, slab and also how to impute your cantilever slab inside product structure okay and also i also show you how to um uh, insert your how, how to insert your imposed load or, or, or your life load on your structure so thank you so much and what i'm watching for patrick right now